everyone and welcome back to the oh so and so alrighty so I've decorated for fall I've got the Halloween stuff out and I don't know it's like I don't even know what today is in October <laughs> they all start to kind of run together but I'm also thinking about Christmas is there anything that I need that I need to start making a list. Um, I'm going to show you some of my Christmas stuff. I'm in my little small bedroom where all the little cute toys are. And in this closet is where I keep all my Christmas stuff. Um, and then I have some in that drawers and I have some in that cabinet and then there's some behind you. <laughs> so we'll see how much we can look at. Alrighty. So now remember now, <laughs> um, as I say, I go hog wild and pig crazy when it comes to decorating for Christmas. So let's see what we got here. Alrighty. Um, this Santa, he's a blow mold. I've had him for a while. And sometimes I put him at the French doors in the back looking out. And it's it's so cool. Let's see if I can pick him up. He's, he's not that heavy, but he is kind of awkward. So I do diet. And then, you know, of course, we have to have pillows for outside. And these pillows are, you know, they're definitely made for outside. Um, since I have four rockers, I have four pillows. And sometimes, let's see, do I have enough of them? Um, no. I must just put these with the red pillows that I have out there. But I have all kinds of different kinds of pillows. Let's see if I can. And I just place them either on the couch or somewhere. You know, you just can't have too many Christmas pillows. Um, oh, and then here or some more of those blow molds. Okay, so now, as you go up to the bonus room on those steps where for the fall tour where the pumpkins are, I put these guys going up the stairs and they're so cute. I have two that have the black hats and two that have the white hats. And they are so cute. Uh, there's so many times that I thought, you know, I just need to get rid of those. And, and then I'm like, well, no, I'm so glad I didn't. But, um, you know, I, um, I put these little trees everywhere. This one, um, I had made ornaments and their little Christmas trees on, on, I can't get it off, close pins. So that's cute. Um, I didn't take it apart, hoping that it would save some time. Um, I always love to find some you know, folk art um, pieces. I'm not quite sure what this was made out of, but I like it. I can just put it anywhere. Um, and then, um, now if you have these racks and you get these bags at, you know, Home Goods, Cracker Barrel or whatever, um, I 
tie special stuff in them on the rack so they don't get um, smashed. And I have a bunch of these. And I usually make little, um, um, like a little town. I got these at, um, in Dade City, Florida, and my really good friends, her house, you see, they were originally 29 cents. I got that one for eight. Um, I have all kinds in here. I have a bag full. Um, I even found a church. I found a church at um, an estate sale. Um, oh wait, here it is down in here. Let me put the let me put the staple on it. That fell off. But I was excited to get this one for a dollar. So guys, keep your eyes open. It says Japan, okay? So, I have those that um, I'll be using. Um, and then, of course, these, these have no telling what, <laughs> what is in them. They fall down. I don't know what's in here. Could be more boxes. I love decorating with these kind of boxes. Um, they look really cute under a tree. Oh, here we go. All right, so I, um, I've got several sleds. Um, there's a big one in there, but I have some that they're probably about this long, you know, and I just took some of the, um, little boxes, little jewelry boxes, and just wrapped them, you know, you could decorate them, put little bows on them. And I put those underneath the trees just for accent. And it's, think about it. You use all the leftovers from wrapping and you find these little boxes. You could even, um, you could even wrap um, any kind of box. I've even wrapped cereal boxes. But that's something that you can do that's inexpensive for your decoration. All right, so I'm going to shove that there. Um, and, of course, I love the, um, the handmade items. If you're ever in Dade City, Florida, go to Peggy Caps, her shop. And, um, she has a lady that makes all this stuff. Honey, you will love it. Love it! And, I always like to have something different at the top of the tree. Oh, my goodness. So, I was at the thrift store the other day, and, of course, they have their Christmas out. I'm like, well, <laughs> it's not even you know, close to it, but I purchased a tree that's probably nine, ten feet tall. <laughs> My husband's going to get me, but it looked just like that, um, a, a Bossomeral hill. It looked just like it, so I've got to look in it and uh, see if there's any kind of labels for it, but it is, I'm telling you guys, it is huge, but I purchased it for the living room since we have those big, tall ceilings, and things like this will go in the top. Okay, um, here's the sled. I got this at a yard sale. I think maybe five dollars and I don't know if I, I can't remember if I put this one with it outside I don't know 
it's it's been a year. Sometimes I don't even remember what I did last week. But anyway, that's some of it. And um, I have one of those men's, um, what they used to put their coats on after church. So I have... I have the Santa suit with the jacket. Um, of course, you have to have stuff for outside. Um, this thing, I got the paper from um, a flea market in Florida, and I kind of framed it. I just put it on some of the, you know, the wrapping paper and put it in a frame. You know, taped it up. You guys can do that. Definitely. Let's see if I can put it to where I'm not going to knock it off and break it. Alrighty, so. Alright, so we got that. And we've got these. That looks so cute with the little trees. Um, so, what I'm telling you is keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. And I've got like, you know, more trees up there. Um, let's see. A lot of my ornaments are over there. I have a tree in here. Um, I got this quilt top which I use to go around the bottom of the tree for the skirt. Um, and that's just a tree and there's no telling what's in there. Okay. So, I think this is stuff just to make... Uh, I don't know. It's stuff to make, I think, wreaths or something. Um... But, you know, I have a lot of vintage, but I also have a lot of handmade. And um, I've got these. And these are absolutely beautiful. They're on a stand. And one of the ladies at the, um, the antique shop in Dade City, I think it's Antiques on the Main, she hand makes them. And then she, you know, puts different things on them. And they are great to sit around. Um, I, I have quite a few of those. Let's see, what have I got? I got six of them. And each one of them is a little different. Um, like say for this one, I would put this one in that front room on the corner. I don't know, she just, and then um, you can see on the back where she puts her name. Peggy F. So, that's one, two. Alrighty. Um, there's several of them. I don't think I can show you all of them, but I love this one in the living room. Look. Look at all the detail work that she does. So cute, and I mean, you know, look how tall this is. I mean, it goes to my waist. I'm 5'3", so I don't know. What is that? Would that be maybe 36 inches or something? Okay, so um, some of these boxes, I don't even know what's in there. I really truly don't. What is this, and why do I have it, and why is it in here? Material? I'm sure I was going to make something out of it. And these tins, guys. The top is somewhere. 
<laughs> I don't know where it is. But I also picked up candles. Um, there's another different kind. Look how pretty. You know, um, these haven't even been used. Um, so, let's see. I'm going to put that out. Okay. We'll put that there. Alrighty. So, now, let's see. What else is in here? This is one of my trees. Um, and it's more... It's more tall and skinny. Uh, last year, I, I kind of lost count how many trees. Who knows what. Who knows what I'll do this time. Alrighty. And I love the clear bins, guys. Oh, here's just like wrapping paper and bows. Um, oh. Old cards. Look for these two guys because you can take one of those, um, I don't think I have a wreath, but you know, the kind, that, the greenery, and you can either put these in there or the cards that you receive for the holidays. So this is a really neat thing to start to look for. Um, okay, so definitely gotta have those. Um, tissue paper, all kinds of ornaments. Um, I don't know. There's so much stuff. Um, now, let's see if, let's see if, well, I've made a mess. Let's see if I can put some of this back in there. Um, let's see if I can at least make a pathway. So you guys can see some of the other stuff. Oh, there we go. Okay. You know. Okie dokie. Now. Oh, there we go. Now, let me pick you up and take you over here. Oh. Oh, boy. Hold on. See? That one's full, too. There's so many Santas in there. I love Santas. Okay, now, here we go. Let's see what's in this one over here. And I'm showing you all this so you will start to think about it early. Um, I have no idea what's in here. Oh, greenery. Oh, you can use this stuff anywhere. Oops. There, now what's in this one? Oh, some of my snowmen. Oh, and this goes on that, um, that uh, red truck outside. And it also has, what is it? It has that one and that. So, I always keep those close to hand. <laughs> now, guys, I know you've seen these. These are the fake uh, snowballs. They look so good in a basket. Or um, last year, I think I put them underneath my snowman tree. And I, I think I even had a sign, you know, um, snowballs, five cents. Cute, cute. Um, we got all kinds of Santas, snowmen. Okay, um, deer. These are cute. They're very primitive. Here's one of my uh, vintage uh, Santas. Look at him. 
He sits toward the top of the tree. <laughs> you gotta love that face. Um, he's attached to the sled. So, love vintage. Okay, now, you know, all kinds of, all kinds of stuff in here. <sighs> See? is the reason why you should pack them separately, right? All righty. Now, let's see what else is in the next drawer. Let me move that. Oh, okay. More snowmen. Uh, candles. These are the kind that, you know, you put in your windows or um, that has the timers. This part right here screws down. But I always take the batteries out, you know, when I get ready to pack them. And then we've got more, more snowballs. These lights that are a little battery powered. Oh, love them. Love, love them. And then, you know, stuff for the bathrooms and the kitchen to put just something in. There's a bunch of like balls that I love to put in baskets. Push that in there. Oh yeah. And then um, you know, more of the picks, more larger deer. That was handmade by Peggy F. Um Okay, um, now, uh, I love old, too. Let's see if I can get this out. Now, on one of my tables, I put, like, a tree in the middle. But this is a fence that you put around it. This one's probably, like, 75 years old. So, it's old. I have to be very careful with it. Um, I'll put it on the bed so I don't bop it. All right. So, ribbon. Grab it as soon as you see it. And I always get another roll or so. Okay. Okay. So, basically, we have ornaments. And, I mean, I, I get a little bit of everything. Handmade, put that went to that. Handmade, I love the deer. Look at that snowman, that Santa Claus. See, on these, candy used to come in these, but I use, I use them on the tree. You know, this one's not, this one's not new. I mean, this one's not old, but it looks old. So, um, I gotta be very careful about shoving those back in there. Um, I have several different kinds. Let's see. I definitely have a lot of the vintage. Um, look at this. Isn't that cute? I got that at Walmart last year. Dollar. Cute. This is handmade. No, I didn't make it. But I appreciate it when somebody else makes it. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, guys. So, I guess that's it. Um, I, I could just show you and show you and show you. Um... But I want you to be thinking about the holidays now, since you've got your house decorated for the fall. Um, if you're like me, you always add a little bit here, a little bit there, especially if you come across something that is really cool. So I'm going to kind of take a mental note of what I've got since I purchased that big tree my husband don't know about yet. Um, I gotta be thinking about what I'm gonna put on there. Oh, 
Let me show you this one thing. Hold on. Okay, guys. Now, I know you have seen these at, oh, whoa, trip, trip. Look, I made these. And um, I know you've seen the styrofoam that are just this shape. Guys, here's that cellophane that you wrap baskets with. Oh my goodness, guys. These are so cool on a tree. So be thinking about those. You just get the styrofoam, paint them white, and then do the stripes. I even did it down the side. And I love these. If I don't use them on the tree, I put them in the basket. I put them on the ground. But I think you'll like these. Alrighty, guys. Well, um, I'm going to work in here a little while. Um, I've already got dinner done. Um, it's in the crock pot. <laughs> I love a crock pot. Um, so I'm going to keep making a mental list and, and adding it to my phone of what I need to pick up, what I need to look for, or what do I need to make. Alrighty, guys. Have an awesome afternoon. Enjoy every moment. I hope you give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. And if you want to watch any of my other videos, I think you you tap on my name at the bottom and then there's several little different categories at the top. If you hit the videos, you'll see all of my movies or videos, whatever you want to call them. Alrighty guys, have an awesome afternoon. I will talk to you later.